Drake are finally back with the IAE after being banished over supposed links to pirate organisations and attacks. So if living in the grey is your thing, or you just fancy some out and out piracy, this one's for you. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what Drake have planned as a capital ship. The flagship of Drake's lineup is the Cutlass. <laughs> just take a moment to appreciate the Drake aesthetic. It looks like the most important repair tools on one of these is a roll of duct tape or a thump to the top of the monitor. But the Cutlass Black is its base version, two crew with four weapon hardpoints, plus two in the man turret, missiles and a tractor beam mount. It's got good cargo space as well, 46 SCU which could comfortably hold say uh, a couple Dragonfly or a Cyclone. The red is a dedicated search and rescue variant with onboard medical facilities and multiple scanners to find casualties and most importantly flashy lights. Whilst the blue is a bounty hunting and interdiction vessel with space for one more crew member, a quantum enforcement drive and onboard prisoner containment, also with flashy lights. I'm not even going to try to pretend that the Buccaneer isn't just two sod off great big engines, a cockpit and a buttload of weapons loosely bolted together. I don't even think this thing's got an ejection seat. Um, but it is very low maintenance, it's very easy to repair and maintain and it's got a surprising punch for a light fighter. Unsurprisingly, there's no bed or interior space. I mean, where would you put it? I know I'm making fun of Drake a bit, but I actually do it fondly. Um, but what do you think? Is the Drake visual style a plus or a minus for you? Let me know in the comments below. My personal favourite Drake ship is the Caterpillar. It's a massive transport with 576 SCU of cargo space spread over multiple sealed cargo holds, which if the rumours are true, are going to be able to hold things like ground vehicles or even be used as makeshift hangars for very small fighters in the future. It's got space for up to four crew and has multiple turrets for self-defence. If you're looking to up your trading game from some of the mid-tier ships, I really do recommend getting to the Expo Hall, renting it and giving it a try. The Dragonfly is Drake's version of a runabout and I absolutely love the way it looks. It's got that industrial but adapted for everyday sort of look. It works in space as well as on ground and it has a back facing passenger seat for those times when you need to get away with someone else's stuff. If the Buccaneer is a cockpit and weapons with engines attached then the Herald is engines with a cockpit and some servers attached. It's a data runner whose purpose is to get there first, get the data and then get the hell out. It's single crewed and despite the vessel's small size it does have a modelled interior with an armoured data core. Uh, although it's kind of funny isn't it? A Drake ship worried about being pirated. If you're finding this helpful please do smack the like button it really does help out. That's it for Drake's flyable lineup this year but let's have a look at a couple of the ships they have planned. Their first capital ship is also going to be the game's first dedicated light carrier. We're talking, of course, about the Kraken. In keeping with the Drake aesthetic, while somehow looking, well, pretty well put together. As well as the four small and two medium sized landing pads it has, it's got an internal hangar and a separate small vehicle bay at the back. It'll fit you and nine of your buddies as dedicated crew and you'll all get to defend the ship if you're in combat, with five manned and four remote turrets. As for cargo, um, are you sitting down for this? It has 3,792 SCU. Yes, you had that right, and no, I didn't add a number. The privateer variant is less light carrier, more mobile market. It swaps out the cargo bay for eight shops, each with 189 SCU of storage space for their wares. The Dragonfly Bay has been replaced with a private market for you and whoever you choose. Your more discerning customers, or to show off your less scrupulous wares. It's going to be really interesting to see what sort of options we get in terms of running our own shop, customising it, decorating it and the like. Drake's answer to the Mercury Star Runner and the Connie, the Corsair is a ship with focus on long distance ops and exploration. 
with four crew, a vehicle bay, two manned and one remote turret, and a dedicated scanning suite, there are loads of gameplay options for this ship and you and your friends. And for me, I really do like the asymmetrical design. That's everything you can expect from Drake today. It's still very early days in my Star Citizen content, so please consider subscribing, joining me on this journey. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.